Hi, I'm John Baker, and I'd like to talk to you about engaging your whole team in your business, because you know that when your whole team are engaged, that's the introverts, the extroverts, and everything in between, you get what you want. More productivity, more work, more people aligned with your vision for the business and pushing forwards with you. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Didn't you ever do that as a kid? When it was hide and seek, etc. So let's close that one off, but let's see, more importantly, what you've put. So these are some of the things that you thought are strengths of introverts. The common theme was that about a third of the people I've interviewed are not fully productive, which is, let's be honest, shocking. The common things behind that were communication, culture, and introversion and an overlap between the three caused the biggest issues. So do you remember it was the time of the great toilet roll shortage where if you had two or more you'd be accused of hoarding or that's if you could get one or more or just generally chatting and networking event or something I might just stand towards the back of that group to conserve that people energy. So there's the link you never thought you'd know between toilet rolls and introversion. Okay, so here's most of the votes we've got so far, and here is what you think of as an introvert. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the words. I'm going to pick out my definitions in a moment, but I just want to look at some of the big ones there. Quiet. I don't necessarily agree, and I apologise, although that can be quite true sometimes. Shy. Definitely one of the introvert myths that I'm going to pick up on in a little while. Reflective. Can definitely be reflective. They're like the drag queens of the undersea world. They're fine feathers hanging around them. Sometimes they're stripy, sometimes they're multicolored, bigger or smaller. I think they're beautiful things to watch. And there we were, we swam across the sea, bed, and then we started to see these lionfish. And there's six or seven of them converging on, on a diver that's lying on the seabed, arms outstretched, and occasionally wiggling his fingers like this, and then stop and then he'd wiggle his fingers. 